of done, I'll say the, the hardest part, right, of, of the implementation process. Um, I want to move into the new data collection and data distribution stack, which you'll hear it referred to as AEP Web SDK or the AEP Edge Network. Um, this is a really good overview slide from our friends at Adobe on kind of the new data collection uh, framework. So what I'm going to focus today on, I'm going to, I'll, I'll do a live demo for everyone and take everyone through it. But really it's how do we get data to the AEP Edge Network? And then how does Adobe distribute it, right? to the Adobe destinations or even now non-Adobe destinations with launch uh, server-side forwarding. And the benefits of this new data collection methodology is it was a complete JavaScript library rewrite for all the Adobe um, products. So if you think about it, you used to have at measurement, you used to have your uh, separate uh, target libraries, you would have audience manager libraries. Right now they're all consolidated into one JavaScript library, which is really beneficial, right? It also has its one Adobe uh, beacon that gets sent up to the AEP Edge network, as well as one data stream and one server side destination. So it's a lot cleaner and it's a little easier to scale all the different applications at Adobe. Um, so what I'll move into is really our clients ask a lot about, hey, what is the new data collection workflow look like? So JP, if you wanna go to the next slide, what I try to do is, is summarize um, what it kind of looks like. and with the demo I'm going to take you through today, there's really three different areas. There's going to be a uh, client side launch, there's going to be server side launch, and then there's going to be the AEP platform. Um, so the first kind of step um, as we want to send data to the edge network is really you're going to have to set up a schema. Uh, I'll, I'll dive into what the schema is, but essentially you set up your schema and then you pull it into your, your client side launch property. Um, where, where I have create XDM object. This could be created as a data element like you do today in, in Adobe Launch. The next piece of that is I wanna show you guys how to map the ACDL to the XDM object. So you're gonna to have to start mapping different data elements to your XDM object uh, from, from ACDL. And then very standard, you'll create rules um, to push the web SDK out. And what you're doing is you're gonna send the entire XDM object as a rule. Um, so you could base it on either ACDL events that fire, or you could set it on core functionality of launch like DOM loaded or, or page loaded, so forth. So that's the first kind of step. The second step, if you wanna take it a step further, you can uh, enable server-side forwarding, which is in a server-side launch property. So what you need to do for that is you'll need to set up an edge configuration. And I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and you'll enable launch server side. What you need to do from there is you'll create XDM pass. So you'll take that same schema and XDM pass that you use and you configure them as data elements within the launch property. And you'll use an application which is called Adobe Cloud Connector to enter the destination of your choosing. And then you'll map those data elements to key value pairs. And you could use either a get request or a post request to send the data off to your liking. So JP, if you wanna um, go to the next slide and then we'll hop into the demo. But that focus on getting data to AEP Edge Network, now Adobe makes it really easy to distribute the data to where you want it. And I'll show you this as well, we'll dive into it. But let's say you wanna send the data to the AEP platform, right? Let's say you're on AEP, you wanna build a data set. What you could do is build a data set, you could apply a schema, your same XDM schema that you brought in to launch, and you could send it to that data set. The next piece is, let's say you wanna send it to a report suite in Adobe Analytics. So you could tell the edge configuration, the report suites you wanna send it to. And right now you could use processing rules to map the XDM to your analytics schema. So the analytics schema are things like props, EVARs, events, and so forth. And then Adobe will automatically forward that information to the report suite. And then finally, non-Adobe destinations, via server-side forwarding, what you do is you make requests with key value pairs in your launch property and you send it to a, basically a data collection endpoint. 